Ah, uh, good morning, afternoon, or whatever it is, I'm not too sure. It's um, Monday, public holiday for the um, Australia Day long weekend. On Saturday we had a bit of a problem in the power room. Uh, one of my inverters stopped working. And it was a fault 09, which is a um, low volt main bus. Uh, which is the main board under the underneath everything so let's take into the power room oh there's a, another update in here as well but you'll notice the green unit in the corner is missing that's because we're going to mount something else there um yeah i currently got this is my spare unit when i bought these inverters because I wanted to use two, I actually bought three. And I recommend that anyone, if they buy an inverter, doesn't matter what brand it is, um, and especially if it's these, these are cheap enough you can just afford to buy a spare and leave it sit in the shed for five years. Now, I bought these in uh, all three of my units from MPP Solar Inc. They just got the new covers with giant power. Um, I took over the took over the um, Australia-wide distribution of them for a year, but they no longer do that anymore. They still sell them, but they're not the uh, sole Australian distributor for them anymore. But anyway, I digress as usual. So it's hot in here. What's the temp in here? Thirty-five, six, thirty-seven. Yeah, just under a hundred. Um, I'll just uh, turn the light off and shut the door. I'll leave them in, in their sweat box. Okay, so I'm going, well, five years, that's not a bad run, you know. Um, today, we went inside and pulled it apart. And the reason it stopped working was from my own my own stupidity, my own fault, alright, because I did not keep up my um, ant maintenance where I spray everything for ants, cockroaches, bugs, insects, all that sort of stuff that loves nice warm inverters when it's cold. And when we had that cold snap and the rain and the wind, what do ants usually do? I know these little black ones uh, that we've got all over here, they tend to get higher ground where it's warmer and that's exactly what they did so they got in to the inverter and um, yeah they just blew the, the main board I'll show you more of that at the end of the video but um, that unit of mine makes four now uh, units that I know of that are blown up for bugs um, they weren't all the same brand. One of them was a Power Star 7. One of them was a very well-known German brand, made in China, of course, where most of them are. And, uh, which has sort of got me stuffed why they call it a German brand if it's made in China. Uh, that's one for the A triple C, I guess. But anyway, um, and, and two of them were these uh, units. Not, not the red ones, but um, one of them, let's see, the Power Star 7 had a full blown ant's nest in it. It had eggs, it had everything in it. The German unit had a few ants in it. Um, and uh, they destroyed it. More or less in the same way they destroyed mine, except mine's fully rebuildable by yourself. And um, the other unit was a green hybrid unit, like I used to have on my wall that's going out to a farm now. And that had a gecko in it, so that's, and my unit of course is the fourth one. So we'll show you a short video. Um, I'll be pulling it apart, really short. Then I'll show you another short video, and then I'll have some photos. Okay? I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's my bad. I don't mind, like my channel's all about showing stuff. Go away, wasp. My channel's all about showing things um in real life no smoke no mirrors what you see is what you get on my channel all right um and, and that's the way a lot of channels need to be 
Okay, enjoy this rest of the video. All right, well, I know why it had a fault now. If you have a look in the, on the table, you see all those little black things down there? They're ants. So this inverter died of an ant infestation. Remember, I, I had one that almost... Uh, yeah, remember ages ago I had ants in my shed. Well, this, uh, this inverter's had the same thing happen to it. It's been full of ants. I've had a look at the MOSFETs. I can't see any problems there. So the problem's deeper in the board. The whole back of this unit was just covered in ants. Dead ants. The whole back of it. So, oh look, they're still stuck to it there. Can you see them, those, those little things? There. There. They just, you know, well, if you look real close, they're stuck all over it. Um, so this board's probably going to have to go back and get tested or it's probably cheaper if we just replace the whole board but you can see up here see this yellow all along the edge there that's what ants do and there's just hundreds of them all dead now all over the table oh, there's still more in there more oh goodness me so it's really important doesn't matter what brand of inverter you've got, okay? The brand does not matter. Um, use a surface spray. Turn your inverters off every now and then and use a good quality surface spray. But, you, you know, this unit it, has been in service for five years. Um, so... Yeah, crying shame. Right. Well, we finally right. found out what um, damaged that inverter and uh, what killed it. And yes, it was my own stupidity, my own forgetfulness to maintain the ant barrier in that shed with surface sprays and other chemicals we use to maintain the ants. Now, remember when you spray for ants in your shed, your power room or wherever, turn all your charge controllers and um, inverters off it doesn't matter what brands they are usually they've got fans in them and all that sort of stuff so just shut your system down to do this job so let's have a bit of a look at the outcome of our investigation okay you'll notice there's an ant there um, I don't think this ant killed it although he does look a bit deep fried but I don't think uh, he was the cause, He's, even his legs are a bit burnt there, look. But I don't think he was the cause of the um, inverter dying. Let's have a look at the next image. Ants are very small, so this is a little bit blur blurry. But you can see there's two ants here. Let's make it a bit smaller. Um, I don't think they even killed the inverter. Um, they also look a little bit deep fried, but I don't think they were the cause of the death of it. What killed this inverter was this in this photo. Okay, so we'll leave this one zoomed in. Alright, straight away, this is the first ant I spotted. This one here. And I mean, he's touching uh, this MOSFET here and this here, and he looks a bit, a little bit toasty there. But when we uh, go down and have a look between the uh, MOSFET legs where they're soldered onto the main board, we'll have a look at the ants across here, and you can see some legs there. Okay, there and there. Let's undo that. And 
more ants in there there's some ants at the back there that I did in the circle and there's a whole big clump of ants there and there's some ants all over this MOSFET they're all dead by the way all deep fried here and here this MOSFET well and truly fried them same as this MOSFET look at them all here they well and truly fried on that one and here's a big clump of them now this wasn't a nest this is just a whole heap of ants that got in here and had a party uh, I thought they were having a barbecue but they end up barbecuing themselves uh, this is the death this was what caused the death the 09 fall of this inverter this inverter is still 100% fixable and salvageable and we will be fixing it and salvaging it.